The idea is to do a film about the War of 1812. At one point we were calling it um, the war that we forgot, the Forgotten War. Um, people in the United States really don't know much about the War of 1812. People in Canada are much more aware of it because it helped forge the, the national identity. In, in, in Britain, they barely know anything about it. The, 1812 to them means just Napoleon. The uh, War of 1812 in North America was really a, a sideshow, an offshoot. Uh, of the war against Napoleon in, in Europe that had been going on for, for 20 years. There were a lot of, of, of reasons that America wanted to go to the war. None of them, in retrospect, really seemed that compelling. Um, and in the end, we de declared war in, in June of, of, of 1812, and that started a two-and-a-half-year war uh, of, of very confusing battles back and forth that ne never really truly resolved anything. I think that a lot of times, you know, historical recreations, films that try to portray a time period that predates photography, predates motion pictures, uh, um, you know, you're up against people's expectations for a Hollywood budget and a Hollywood cast of thousands. The biggest challenge is trying to convey some sense of what it would be like to have war visited upon a population with, you know, a cast of 20 instead of a cast of thousands. So you have to be more impressionistic. Well, one of the things that we're working with on this shoot is a lens baby, which is a small lens you can attach to a mini DV camera that gives a really dreamlike look. And uh, it's used to sort of give the feeling that you're in a memory. We're dealing with uh, non-actors. Um, who are working with guns and explosive devices and we're doing all exterior, mostly all natural light shoots. So there's a lot of issues. There's, there's rain, there's sun, there's bugs, there's traffic. It's a real, I mean, this is sort of all hands on deck. Um, it's a, and the vibe of the crew, I think we, we, we're kind of fortified by the vibe of the reenactors. I mean, it's a bit like having an improv comedy troupe in fancy dress on, on board here. I think that that, uh, that spirit has kind of carried over into the crew. My, my hope is that the, you know, the, the, the kind of artistic license we take with this is, um, can pass muster with the, the stories that we've already had told to us uh, on film and, and before we started filming. What we hope that uh, people get from, from this film is an understanding of, a, of an important part of North American history that, that changed the shape of, of both Canada and the United States. We have to come up with a way that keeps the viewer's interest, takes them from the beginning to, to the middle to the end, so that they care. They care about people and they care about what happens. That's our challenge.